That is one bad thing though, you actually have to manually aim at like stuff like that that usually you would just lock onto and just be able to hit. And the nice thing is you sh if you hit these bees, they actually stop moving. They do stop moving after a couple seconds of flying around you, but... Damn it, damn it, damn it, where is it? Ah, uh, fudge muffins. You bastard. Get back here. There we God damn it. This boss is still annoying. It's not hard, but just annoying as hell. Son of a bitch. There we go. I hadn't even got the first hit on it yet, or the first phase of it done, because I failed that so badly. Oh, just got three of them in one shot. Nice. Oh, son of a... Good thing they die fast. Bastard. Come on. What the... Mm. Come on. Son of a bitch. Come on. I hate getting the last one. It's so irritating. There we go. One more wave down. Or one more wave left. I haven't played this game in actually a while. I haven't played it since the trilogy came out. Oh, come on. There's so many of them. Mother of God. So that's another great aid to being able to actually aim is you can just go for, like, while your uh, vision's locked, you can just go for other ones that are in, within your vision just by aiming at them. The really small ass targets, too. Ah! Ah, gotcha. I think I got two of them. Yes! Yeah, I got it. Well, I usually don't suck that much. The basement where I'm forced to record is kind of cold, too, so my fingers are kind of not used to being able to... or aren't able to move that fast, to shoot that fast, when um, it's so cold. <clears throat> Seeing as my hands are like the only part of me that ever get cold for some odd reason. Alright, I'm going to blast this door, but I don't think we can actually go any further. Oh, we get an energy tank. But there's a morph ball, ball, uh, morph ball tunnel right there that we can't get through quite yet. Because um, we don't have the morph ball yet. Simple as that. And I can't see at all, Hall. I really honestly just guessed where those platforms was or were. I had no fucking clue. I'm not even kidding. Whatever. Let's just move on. Alright, in here there's a missile expansion. I'm gonna wanna shoot these puff things. And then missile this wall. And voila, missile expansion number one. Now we need to get the hell out of here. Actually I forgot what's in here. Come on, go, 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 go. Oh, map station. Lovely. <coughs> and actually, I'm going to use this time really quick. I'm going to up the brightness on my TV just a little bit. Um, so, I will be right back. Alright, I just cranked it up like 20 points, so I can actually see now. It's all good. Oh my god, that's so much better. I'll probably cut that out where I was just sitting at the menu for like 30 seconds. <clears throat> but, god, it looks so much better. Yeah, screw them, I don't even care. There's a save station up there too, but 
I don't really need to save. <coughs> God, I, I, I apologize for all the coughing. It's funny, right after I finish drinking something, my throat starts hurting. How the hell does that make sense? Screw the bugs. Let's go get the next upgrade, which is the Morph Ball. Oh, haha, <laughs> we need missiles. I was gonna say, we would have just gone in here before if we didn't need missiles. Let's get some health from these dudes. These things are a major way to get health back. Because you can see all that health I just got. There we go, back in full. Alright, now we have another boss, actually. They kind of just kind of rape you with bosses right off the bat. <clears throat> but here we have the... Uh, well, we have a bunch of... Uh, armored beetles first. Yeah, die, 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 die. <laughs> this game has too many bugs in it. It's not a very good game. <laughs> Never mind, I'm not even gonna know. I think we're almost done. I think once we kill this last wave. Yep. You know you're almost done with no more start or no more spawn. And boom. And now we have the armored cannon beetle, which is basically a big version. And hmm, me wonder where weak spot is. Maybe the front where there's armor up the butt? <sighs> this thing kind of looks like a Triceratops, if you think about it. Ah, oh, crap, on a stick. Yeah, if you're moving left or right while you, um... Yeah, okay, never mind. <laughs> the game just told you. Wow, one missile killed it? Are you freaking kidding me? Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, that kind of goes to show how easy they made normal mode. But, uh... Oh, well. One missile in the back and it dies. I was prepared to missile cancel it to death, but okay. <clears throat> Morph ball acquired. Yay, we have balls. A ball. Shut up. And now we can go through that hole that was behind the hive mecha. See, so this is kind of the how the entire um. Uh, game works, and this kind of goes for Metroid Prime 2 as well. Metroid Prime 3 gives you like objectives as you go along, but um, Metroid Prime 1 and 2 at least, you kind of just have to remember where there's a place that you can't get through because there's a, a certain ability that you don't have, and then you just kind of have to remember where that room is, and then come back to it once you have an upgrade that you think is fitting for that um, uh, roadblock. <clears throat> so like for instance, we ran across that hole behind the hive mecha, so we need something small to squeeze through. So we have the morph ball now. We can go through, and that's kind of the whole ideology behind these games. It's just kind of—I mean, there really isn't any story moving you along throughout these games. There kind of is in Metroid Prime 2 and 3, but at least for the first game, it's kind of just move you along from upgrade to upgrade, uh, and then the story kind of concludes at the end. Which I kind of like too, because I, you know, I like cutscenes as much as the next guy. But story is one of those things in games where it has to really grab me for me to care and actually want to watch cutscenes and stuff like, or like big dialogue cutscenes, like Metal Gear Solid or actually Brutal Legend has really good cutscenes, um, just because they're so damn funny. Um, but you know, like a game that doesn't really need a story that has a re just a really boring story and just nonsensical story that's saying the same thing every five seconds. Just, I can't be bothered with too much story. It's not my most important thing in a game. Are we seriously already going to Magmore Caverns? Um... That isn't right. Yeah, that's not right. <laughs> I don't think we need to go to Morph Ball, or... What's it called? Damn it! Don't tell me I 
fucked up. Already, too. Um. Oh, there's a thing. Well, I just kind of messed that up. Not supposed to go through that hole quite yet. That's actually not for a while. Good thing we can get out this way. <laughs> so if you're using this as a guide at all, don't be stupid like I was. We're not even supposed to be in here yet. <clears throat> we can't get that missile expansion yet. Don't worry about it. Screw the bugs. Ah, uh, damn it. I can't believe I screwed. Oh. Well, I guess that wasn't all bad. We got an energy tank out of it. Alright, I'm not so pissed off anymore. What you're supposed to do is come up here. Okay, that's not the right way. Um, 